What's up, everyone? Welcome to a special episode of DNA's Classics Lounge. We're open for business tonight, so come chill, come hang out, and kick back and relax. Maybe have a couple drinks, because on Tuesday night, special episode tonight, you may need a couple drinks. Because we're only a couple days into this long week. Usually we're seeing this on Wednesday, we're halfway through, and we're kind of like, we can do this, we can make it. And we celebrate the midweek with some Classics Lounge. However, tonight, the regularly scheduled program had been canceled due to illness, we'll go with. Uh, Rob's not feeling the greatest, uh, exhaustion, and so on. Spare you the details. That's actually all I know. But feel better, get some rest. You better not be watching this unless this is on demand because you need your Z's. So. This might be a good way to get some Z's. Come hang out and watch. This is going to be a really relaxing kickback program. But tonight we're playing a not-so-classic game in honor of the classic game that we're actually going to be playing tomorrow night. Tomorrow night you all voted and unanimously pretty much picked Yoshi's Island, which is Super Mario World 2. But tonight, to prep you for a classic, we're going to play a somewhat modern Yoshi game with Yoshi's Woolly World. And this, of course, is on the Wii U, which you can see right there. Blink, 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 blink. Hello, illness works for me. Nope, just me and Alex. So welcome to the stream. But yeah, we'll go with illness. Um, you guys are all here for the game, so without further ado, let's kick it over to that. All right. Preparing. Anyone out there played Yoshi's Woolly World? Woolly World? Booty Pet Pet? Haven't done that in a while. So, this game, or I guess the art style idea, came from one of the uh, developers over at Nintendo. Um, I forget her name, but she basically, this is considered cross stitching, right? Or knitting, I guess, if you will. Yarn. Yes, knitting. Knitting. Cross stitch. Whatever. It's something I don't have the skill of. So, Knitting, um, one of the developers over at Nintendo made some of these for the co-workers and had, had her own made and they basically liked the design and wanted to make something out of it into a, uh, into a game. Um, classic mode, since this is the classics show, or a little breezy and relax. Does the game play itself? <laughs> So Alex says he's gonna play Mario Maker. Nice game. Just don't do what we did with Mario Maker. <laughs> we abused that game. You can switch the game mode whenever you feel like it, which is nice. So it looks like we can have up to two players in this. We're gonna use the game pad here, as you can see. A style or B style, hasty, patient. We're just gonna go with defaults and learn as we go. And I'm probably gonna get made fun of by Andrew here, who has probably mastered this game by now. No. <laughs> Welcome to Craft Island, a tiny place in the middle of the handmade ocean. So as you notice, it's all just artsy. Well, how would you describe this? Crafty. Crafty. Your mom's basement. Yeah. <laughs> so Terry. Should be watching this one. This is the one you'd like. Life here for the Yoshi clan is nothing but peaceful and leisurely. Happy little Yoshis. Or rather, it had been nothing but peaceful and leisurely until... What's gonna happen? What would be the enemy of yarn? A cat? <laughs> <laughs> Smash Bros. instead. Smash Bros. is a good choice. I like the doilies. Is that what they're called? Yeah, those little lace-looking things underneath. I don't know a lot about <laughs> craftiness, so you all are going to have to help me here. Hello, little Yoshis. Sorry to drop in so suddenly, but I need to turn you all into yarn. Thanks. 
That's not cool. Oh. Eh, at this rate, I'll be here through lunch. Come on, I'm busy. Everyone becomes yarn. There, this should be plenty. Well, I'd better get back. Toodles. <laughs> Yoshi is easily one of my favorite, if not my favorite character in the Mario world, or Mario universe rather. Always been a fan of Yoshi. Eek! That's quite enough. I've had it with you annoying Yoshis. In the very first Mario Kart, as well as Mario Kart 64, Yoshi was always my go-to. Uh, in the latter Mario games, or Mario Kart games, um, I didn't pick him as much as, from my understanding, the characters did affect the speed and control of the game. It may have in the originals, but I didn't think so. I was just too good. There's still hope as Kamek flies away. He drops a handful of yarn. A rather important Yoshi meeting is held. What do we do to save the others? We need to get that yarn back. Wow. Hurry! After that naughty trickster. And so another grand Yoshi adventure begins. Will they be able to knit their friends back together? Onward, Yoshis! Make it sound so epic, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, one one. Here we go. So you got solo and co-op, and it looks like there are collectibles throughout the worlds that we can get. Uh, stamps. It looks like hearts and other things. So I guess we'll soon find out what we can collect and what we can miss or will miss. Yarn Yoshi takes shape. Yoshi. <laughs> so it looks like I can use the um, either or the direction of the D-pad or the analog, which is nice. The classic stuff I prefer uh, the D-pad. Making yarn balls. Gobble up an enemy with B and then crouch to make a yarn ball. Of course, Xbox and Nintendo are backwards on what B is. So I got one stamp, it looks like. I missed something already. What did I miss already? Back? Ah, okay. See, we got the pro with us. She knows everything. Although, I do believe you, uh,. Look up online though to play these, don't you? To 100%. Of me. If I can't figure it out, I do it on my own first. And if I can't figure it out, then I. For those of you just joining us or joining me for the first time, I'm part of a group called DNA or Dose of Nerd Acumen, or either or, whichever you prefer. DNA is easier to say and easier to memorize. It's part of us all, after all. Sarah said one of her favorite games is Yoshi Story. And then 64. And oh, Yoshi Story is a good. Feels one. like she might have to make Rob buy this one. You guys don't have this one yet. It's you should. Super fun. So. Yeah. I watched uh, <laughs> Andrew play this for quite a few hours. We took advantage of a buy two get one deal at a uh, local gaming retailer. So we can't say the name. Do you know how to throw those yarn balls? Nope. How do I do that? Press. Oh, fun. <laughs> But yeah, we took advantage of that and we got her this game. We also got, didn't we get you, um, Mario, or uh, Paper Mario? I think so. Yeah. 
So what do these do? So in order to 100% the level, you have to have all of the hearts, which I think is 20. It turns gold once you have them all. And you have to pick up five things of yarn, five little flowers, and... I can't remember what the other thing is right now. Am I doing alright so far? It tells you if you missed anything. You pick them up in the order that they exist. So that's a yes, no. <laughs> huh? I don't think you've picked up anything but stamps. Stamps, that's the other thing. Stamps and uh... What are you doing? It told me to do that. Yeah, it was teaching you how, Goob. You already went through this part. Oh. I thought it was telling me to... Stop, 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 stop. The retailer should not be named. Stopping? What am I doing? Push that wall. Uh, look at this. Now go back down to the ground floor. Do I want to get that? Yeah. Ground floor? Now push to the right. Uh, look at you. What are these, like, couch cushions? Can I go down there? No. You already did, honey. I did? Oh, yeah, you're right. Here. <coughs> I feel pressured to be a completionist when I play games with Andrea. <laughs> like, I, normally I just kind of leisurely play, but when she's watching, it's always like she's judging or staring, or if I, like, close to this, she's like, oh, I'm so stressed out. I just can't play games with her watching. It makes me stressed out. Checkpoint, huh? Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh, terrible. <coughs> so I got three. I can't go down that thing. No, it's <clears throat> it spawns those shy guys that you can fulfill your young balls. Yum. So far, so good. Ooh. Same spot. Yep. So what's everyone's favorite Yoshi game that you ever played? Tomorrow, obviously, uh, we're promoting for the um, Yoshi's Island game. Oh. This game is super fun, but I like the original Yoshi's Island. <laughs> well, this one doesn't have Baby Mario in it, does it? It's all about Yoshi's saving Yoshi's. What do I do here? Throw a uh, thing. Haha! <laughs> So those hearts go away when you get hit or injured. That's what makes it harder in the later levels to keep it full. Well, that's there's only so many that you can get back throughout the level. So if you get hit enough times, you won't be able to get all of them back. What do you hear? Stand where that arrow is. There you go. Now shoot it up. So what's going on chat? You guys are quiet tonight. 
How's everyone's Tuesday? You guys gearing up for the big episode this Friday, our 25th episode of the Weekly Dosage. Hard to believe that we've maintained a uh, consistent weekly episodic series like this, uh, especially with the group that we are. But yeah, 25 episodes we're celebrating with a special guest, Caleb, playing some Cuphead. Did I not get everything? No! Whatever, we're not doing this for 100%. That'd be for another, another time. Um, yeah, Cuphead. We're playing on the Xbox One. So finally a little bit of Xbox action on the Dose of Nerd Acumen channel. It's a rarity these days, it seems. Um, the guys seem to be PlayStation fanboys, why I tend to be a Nintendo fanboy. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's just kind of what we play. I missed one thing, I almost had perfection. So annoying. Um, so yeah, that'll be Friday, and then we're <laughs> staying late for a recorded episode for the following Friday, due to it being Easter weekend, a lot of people have plans so they won't be in town. So we're gonna record a episode of Kirby. Uh, Kirby's, um, is it Allies, Star Allies, or? Yes. Ally something. <laughs> I forgot the name already. I put like eight to 10 hours in that game over the weekend and I forget the name of it already. Solid game. Um, I'll have a lot more to talk about it during the recording of that episode. Don't wanna give anything away. Um, but definitely a game that you should pick up. He's a fun colored Yoshi. Flower Yoshi, okay. Now, do these Yoshis do anything different as you unlock them? Uh, no. You can be them. Oh, you, you just can, become them? That's yeah, it? It's just you cosmetic? Can go and change. <clears throat> Are there any unlockables besides that? Uh, yes. But what are they? I don't remember. Sorry. What's co op? You get to have two Yoshis? I think so, yeah. Exchange beads for badges that give Yoshi special powers. Clear the course. What does that mean? I just pass the course? I think so, yeah. Really? That's kind of neat. So as you can see, I'm new to this game. I've only watched, observed, much like you guys are probably doing. I have no pro at this one. But I figured it would be a fun one, again, to uh, play to get me hyped for some Yoshi's Island tomorrow night. Well, that was dumb. I'm not trained to swallow here, sorry. Yum, yum, yum. So these gems are available on every level? Yes. And you can purchase the special badges that you see at the end. What uh, other badges are there besides the, the level three? I don't remember all of them. There's a ton of different ones, though. I really dig the art style of the game, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Everything's knitted together. They um did a Poochie and Yoshi game for the 3DS. Poochie's in this game. Poochie's in this game? Yeah, the 3DS um, saw the... I think it's pretty much the same game. You can hover again when you're done hovering. You just gotta push the button. Oh, uh, in the old games you can only do it once. Yeah, you can hover for ever. What? Something stuck all over the place. Go away. Did I learn nothing? What? What are you talking about? You almost didn't even go in there. You almost didn't go nowhere. Wow. 
now. Well, that's fun. Ball. What? It unlocks things. I know you tell me. Forget. You're not really good at teaching, are you? Uh -uh. Oh. Ooh, that was I mean, nothing's happening. The chatter is. <laughs> no one's chatting. You guys are quiet tonight. Sorry if you were expecting Gears of War. I could have played it. I have that game too. Although well, I probably just played online and done terribly. All I play in that game is horde mode. So. Point. So we got one person on Twitch, three on YouTube. Shut up. Don't be quiet now. Feel free to speak your mind. This is the Classics Lounge. Just kick back and enjoy yourself. Am, not, am I an umbrella? Yeah, but you're also fine, so... I don't know where everyone is. Yeah, what's going on? It's Tuesday. It was quiet last week on the uh, weekly dosage as well. What's going on, guys? I know there's a big announcement if you're a wrestling fan. Some people are probably watching SmackDown tonight. But Daniel Bryan announced that he's cleared medically. To return to the ring. But, <laughs> yeah, this, this game's not just for kids. It's for dads, too. It's really hard. It's really good games, too. Kids are good at games. What are the games we played growing up? If you hold the thing straight up and down, it'll automatically go up, I think. Oh, 
Get him. Eric says he's oddly aroused. What? By Yoshi and Yarn? Or something else? You watching porn again while I stream, Eric? I missed the stamp. That last flower. I, just, I just can't get it all. I can't catch them all. I'm gonna need candy though. Eh. Gobstoppers. I seriously missed the flower again. Oh, I missed one stamp too. I just can't catch them all. say this game is that you you didn't finish it did you no i think i'm only on three or four <laughs> me thinks eric the dead needs to calm down a bit <laughs> <laughs> i mean is this do it for you man but yoshi's pretty cool and this game's pretty cool looking but Make all yarn balls big. Mm -hmm. They hit twice or three times when they're big versus. It's like big head mode. Small. Or DK mode. Yeah. That's fun. Speaking of DK mode or big head mode, we need to make. Golden Eye 64 happened on a weekly dosage, and we need to do slappers only. The four of us are just beating the hell out of each other. That needs to happen. I don't know what episode number, but I want to make that happen. What is that stuff? It's a sponge. Oh. Have you really never played a Yoshi game before at all? Yeah, I've played a Yoshi game before. Are you kidding me? Oh God, <laughs> the seven-year-old was asking me what that means. Oh. Good thing he saw that on his way to bed. Jeez, Eric. This is Classics Lounge, let's keep it PG. Weekly dosages for the, the craziness. I wonder if Facebook chat is working. Is that even working? I don't know, I haven't shared Yeah, people are just watching, creeping on Facebook. Y'all creeping. So if you haven't noticed already at the bottom of the screen there, we got that custom URL goal. We are currently at 74 out of 100, meaning we need 26 more people to help us out. Please hit that sub on YouTube. If you're on Twitch, jump over to YouTube right now. Search for Dose Nerd Acumen. Hit the subscribe button. Help us out. We need your help because we want to have a nice looking URL instead of the crazy YouTube.com forward slash blah, 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 because that's what that looks like. I don't like it. So again, please do us a favor. We'll be forever grateful. If you're on Twitch, give us um, a follow if you haven't yet. If you have, thank you. And feel free to chat. Don't be shy. Oh! Don't eat me. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> hey, you can get yourself in trouble, mister. You got some explaining to do. What's that from? 
Lucy. I love Lucy. <coughs> Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Did you ever watch that show? Oh shit. Did you ever watch that show? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to play too good. Nope. Mm. Struggling to get up there, man. There we go. We got full cup. I can't get up there, can I? Yes, you can, no. Hold the hover down, what are you doing? No. <laughs> you know what? Do you want to play? I'm just going to make Andrew play. This is what she does. So we don't play games together. <laughs> That's exactly why we don't play games together. <laughs> Get it with an egg here, huh? I don't want to. Clearly. Clearly, you don't want to get it at all. Nope. I do what Are I you? want. I do what I want. I'm gonna need to go back. Yeah, I'm tired of shenanigans. Divorce you over your bad I never said it was good. I just wanted to play because I thought I fit with the theme and I had. No other idea what I was going to do tonight. Why? What is that oh, thing? Hit it. Oh, no, you tell me as I hit it. They turn into those jumping things. The jumping thing? <laughs> yeah, that, that thing on the bottom. When they touch the ground, that's what they turn into. Why right, not fun? Doing not so good, not so good, not so good. I mean, I guess I'm not doing terribly. I'm just not collecting everything. That was fun. Through stuff, people want to see levels, they don't want to see me collect things. This is gonna drive you crazy. You guys are quiet. What's going on? What's going on, chat? Did y'all enjoy seeing Uncharted 2 last night? One of the funnest opening sequences to the series, for sure, in my opinion.
You want to play here? Mm -mm. Mousy. I mean, I'm better than you at it, but that's okay. Let's see. You play the next level. Let's see. She's going to play. I'm going to tilt the camera at her now. No, you're not. <laughs> Making her official debut on camera. Not today. Got a bunch of people checking us out on uh, Facebook. You guys are awfully quiet. Sarah says, I don't know that I could get tired of Uncharted. Uncharted is a great franchise. Um, I'm just happy that they've paced the series. They didn't overload us like they did with Assassin's Creed, where it was a yearly title for so many years. Uncharted at least spread itself out throughout the years. And it's a... The thing about Uncharted, it's a good length game too. Depending on your collecting, uh, the game can last anywhere between 10 and 15 hours. What are you doing? What are you doing? You picked the weird... Controller setup. I did default controls. Yeah. I didn't change any. What's weird about it? I thought she was so good. Look at this. Oh, I am so good on the normal way where I can like run. What do you mean normal way we can run? Where's his, where's his turn? There's adventure, there are jump scares, there's witty humor. I greatly appreciate Naughty Dog games. Um, Jack, Jack and Baxter is one of my favorite franchises. So, on one of my Classic Lounge episodes coming up, I'm actually going to play a Classic Naughty Dog game. Um, possibly not one of them, but three of them. <coughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to change the controller. This is really bad. This is how you've played before. No. Oh, no? No. Okay. Yes, Crash. So I want to play, I actually have the um, HD remasters of them, and I want to play them. What's his tongue It's dumb. It's not dumb. <laughs> yes, it is. This is so dumb. The other way is much more intuitive. Like, the buttons make more sense. Makes complete sense to me this way. You can't even run. Because the buttons are across the screen from each other. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> welcome everyone. Uh, welcome Andrea everyone. Back to the stream. We haven't seen her in a while. So she's uh, been sick and dying. <laughs> You may know her from the Horizon series that she started and never going to finish on stream now. <laughs> you did almost 10 episodes. I know. You almost tied my record. One episode? Mm hmm. For one game. Oh. I did 10 for The Sims. I screwed up. I you were right behind me. Rob's approaching mine with Uncharted. He'll eventually pass it if he does the whole franchise. It's commitment. Sarah hearts you. Me? Mm -hmm. uh, I hurt you too. I'm eating chocolate. That sounds good right now. Kate says, I thought Classics was on Wednesday. <laughs> so yes, Kate. Normally Classics would be Wednesday. Unfortunately, Rob couldn't make it tonight. So his uh, stream for Gears of War 4 with Sarah ultimately was canceled. 
So I'm filling in for him tonight. So I apologize if you showed up here tonight looking for Rob's beautiful face and got this. I'm sorry. But tonight's a special episode of the Classics. Oh. Because we're gearing up for tomorrow night's actual regularly scheduled program with Yoshi's Island. But tonight we're playing Yoshi's Woolly World. Chick Gamers Unite, Sarah says, or something like that. Yeah, girl, girl. Not doing a very good job. Yeah, you two should have had your own spin-off for the weekly dosage. Talk about what it's like to be a female in the gaming world and in the streaming world. The pressures you face, the judgment. Y'all have it a lot harder than we do. That's just life, bro. You have two advantages, though. Look at that. On your chest. You're an idiot. No, I'm serious, though. Like yeah, that's I'm a... serious, you're an idiot. No, that's a serious topic, though. There are a lot of people that will donate based on that alone to your stream. Yeah, and I'm. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying, though, like, if you're willing to embrace being objectified for a dollar, that happens. I'm just bummed because I have to, I have company tonight, so I have to dip in classics as my fave. Well, thank you. That's really awesome. Um, you can check this out anytime too. We we put these on our YouTube channel, so you can watch these on demand. So if you ever have to miss an episode, don't feel bad at all. Uh, just check out our channel. You can watch it, you know, maybe while you're working. Um, really anytime. I watch a lot of YouTube as I'm falling asleep. Helps me relax. Um, but yeah, I'll be on again tomorrow. But. If you miss any of our episodes, you can find every single episode on YouTube. We've backed up everything that we've ever done since the beginning, uh, dating all the way back to last October. So check out any of our weekly dosages, any of our solo streams. We have playlists individually for each of us. We have playlists for pretty much every game. Um, you name it. I, excuse me, I've been a bit OCD with uh, my organization of the YouTube channel. But if you have any feedback or you're missing something on there, let me know too and I'll make some adjustments. Constantly being told to get in the kitchen to make sandwiches. Uh, Eric says Classics will be back on tomorrow too, I think. Indeed it will. I'll be back with you. Unless Rob's feeling really antsy and wants to play, then by all means. And you just get an extra episode tonight since Rob was out sick. Bless America. I'm not Bless doing America. so hot. I have a oh, feeling. I'm not gonna get through with the parts. That's what I'm <laughs> I thought you were good. This is a controller <laughs> scheme. Seriously, excuses, excuses. <clears throat> I have a really good feeling that tomorrow the controller is gonna be stolen from me on that game. I'm not gonna steal the controller. If you want to give it to me, I'm not gonna turn it down. That's one of Andrew's favorite games. Probably the favorite game on the Super Nintendo. Probably. This is going to be really difficult because I can't figure out the... Is this a boss fight? Yeah. It's Big Montgomery. Red Knight says, just order the sandwiches. Crichton says, Ohio. Where have you been, Kevin? Have you been silently observing? Get well, Rob. Yes, indeed, Rob. Get some sleep, man. Sleepy, sleepy. Only Tuesday is not a good way to start off your week. That brown yarn like pattern like makes me itchy. Like I don't like it at all. Like it's so tacky looking. Like that's like grandpa's sweater. Yeah it is. I'm gonna die, bro. 
You're gonna die? Yeah, look, I got like one heart left. Terrible. This stupid button scheme, it's terrible. Excuses. <laughs> oh, I missed a star or a fall. Missed too. one. All right. Your palms are sweaty. Your knees weak. Arms are heavy. I think it's about time for me to go to bed. Does vomit on your sweater already? I'm not seeing an M&M &M because it's it's terrible. Excuse me. Because Detroit. Don't care. You got a new power badge. Sweet. So am I excited to get Yoshi on the Switch? Yes, that Yoshi game looks amazing. I just hope it's a little bit longer than what Kirby was. Have you been playing Kirby? Uh, on the phone with Xfinity. Well, that sucks. They're not fun to be on the phone with. Um, how come these are grayed out? Even though I clearly have enough points for that. I don't. I couldn't tell you. Uh, Last Yoshi game we played was Yoshi's Island. Wow. Uh, to be honest, no, I haven't. The game is just so damn easy that it's almost not fun. I'm disappointed. Kirby, yeah, I mean the game, the game plays itself kind of. Um, I don't hate it for that. It was nice to have a game that was easy. It's, it's a change of pace from like what I've been playing for the last couple weeks on and off, which was Bloodborne. <laughs> which is not an easy game. Um, so it's nice to have a game that kind of is just relaxing. Because sometimes you need a game just to kick back and finish with 106 lives. So, I wasn't mad about it. But we'll talk more because we're doing that for the weekly dosage. Not this week, but the following. Do you want now? The tree. Oh, I see. Oh. I don't understand how you're having problems with the controls. It's not how it should be. Mm, not how it should be. The back button should be to throw eggs. Jump should be the bottom button. This is how it's been. It's dumb. It's wrong. How Mario is. Wrong. Oh, wrong. No, the run and jump buttons have always been near each other. And they're on the opposite sides of the, the pad. You know, run is B. Right, and jump is the back button. And jump is A. No, that's wrong. No, that's how Mario is. Okay, that's fine. I'll tell you, that's wrong. It's not wrong. But maybe I wanted to. Uh, I don't hate it. I think I'll save it for one with other players. Yeah, I mean, Kirby is probably a game that is indeed more challenging when you're with friends and trying to communicate through the levels with all the powers. I think the biggest problem with the level of difficulty or the lack of in that game is that the AI for once is incredibly intelligent. Like, you were critiquing that, Andrew. We're not critiquing it, but just noticing it. Like, 
They don't suck like normal anime AI does. They do. They actually fight the people. Why are you not eating the trees? Because of the background, I missed them. Oh, look, it's gonna do something. So I can't play video games. B next to A. B to run and A to jump. He says, as much as I hate to side with Travis on here, <laughs> what the heck? Why do you hate to side with me? That's how the Nintendo controller has always been. But B isn't run. B is run. Y is run. No, B is run. Look. But isn't... Right, and A is... See? You See? hold it down and you look, I'm still running here. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine, but the the tongue motion should be the the A button and the jump should be the B button because Y is wrong. No. <clears throat> yeah. No. Yeah. I didn't realize that if you held down B, you would also run, which is great because then run and jump are next to each other. Yeah. But the egg throwing and egg and bad guy eating buttons are incorrect. Whose fault is that then? Yours, because you set it to the stupid. No, that's controller. the fault. You of all people should know the default of no is right. You play inverted. Yeah, because I grew up on flight simulator games. Inverted yeah, feels right to me. Dumb. To look up, I lean back, so I push down. If I want to go up, I push up. If I want to go down, I push down. Dummy proof. A should be jump. If it isn't, I'm confused. A is jump. So can you see? I'm not, I don't a like, but A should not be jump. B should be jump. A should be egg throwing. Instead, mm. Y is egg throwing. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just not the way that the other Yoshi game is on the SNES controller. It's the other way. It's wrong. Which I think you can switch. We're going to play that tomorrow and find out. So we're going to have the same conversation tomorrow. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll admit it. But I it's on camera. Think, I don't think I am because I can't imagine that I played this game. I have 100%ed this game into World 4 with that button scheme. You can change the button scheme when you enter the game. Oh, you can change it, yeah, but... Yeah, and I think I did when I played. I don't know. Okay. No, B jump, you... A should be jump, you heathen. No, I'm sorry. The very bottom button should be jump. And on this controller, oh. the bottom button is B. How did I like the ultimate deletion? <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, my critique of the ultimate deletion was that WWE capitalized and is really taking advantage of, obviously, these characters that they took their time with putting together um, that TNA already had done. I realized that it was the Hardy's idea for this, and they want to do it. They want to do it again on a bigger stage, but like I had seen it before in TNA, so for me it was kind of like it was something. <laughs> it's really dependent on where they go with it. Um, how do you live like this, buddy? Please don't kill me on Friday, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> I make no promises because tomorrow we'll prove that I'm right. So yeah, you better tune in tomorrow then to find out whether or not Andrea is right or wrong. Y is run. Oh, you're so wrong. B is jump. A should be to throw. You're so wrong. No, Y should be to spit the tongue out. I don't remember, but we'll figure it out because you can, the, the right controllers are on the, the Super Nintendo. And you can switch the controllers to this one too, because I know that's what I did. You are so wrong. Maybe I have the run and jump buttons wrong, but I don't have the eating and throwing buttons wrong. To throw, it should be the, the whatever button is on the right. What is that, eh? I didn't read the totally kidding part out loud because it has drama. <laughs> All right.
I need things. You know, you gotta go all the way back. What should I do? <laughs> Break into his mouth. Uh. Did I just get myself stuck? No, you can jump over him. You just gotta hover over him. <clears throat> oh, I like and you. not land in his mouth. That's frustrating. I hate backtracking. Me getting murdered on a weekly dosage. Y'all see the trailer for Tag or Cloak and Dagger? I have not. Have you? I'm assuming you have. I've seen a, an advert for it, like a static image online. Play. Well, I'm trying to get through levels here. As entertaining as seeing me collect things is. It's not the hour mark. Which means I have to end my stream with 10 minutes from a random game. Like I always do. And I already have one in mind for everyone. Back to you in a second, chat. Getting through the platform part. Cool. Uh, they look at me. The tag is based on a true story. A group of friends have been playing the same game of tag every every year for 30 years. That sounds neat. Bonus game. Do you get on first? Oh, what do we do here? Jump. A big piece of fruit's gonna come off. This is the watermelon. Why wouldn't you jump? <laughs> Stupid. Oh, man. Silly. Rashida Jones, they're all trying to gang up on Renner who's never been tagged and always is like Hawkeye level good at tag. Well, I like Rashida Jones. <clears throat> Me too. She walked from uh, Toy Story 4. Did she? Yep. Probably because that movie's going to be terrible and it makes me mad that they're even considering making it. I no, there, there are other reasons. You can look that up. You'd be pretty mad about it. Well, was she getting paid like a dollar to her co-worker's $30 million? Um, I'm sure that was part of it. There are other things too. So yeah, how do we... Hit a... How'd you get to controller settings? Hit go, to, go to controller settings. Oh my god. A style or B style? B style. See? A, yarn ball, <laughs> Y, eat, spit out, and B, jump. So that's like that's, that's correct. Like, that's like making inverted then. Because B is the alternate. Right. I'm inverted on this game and I... it's This, this is the N64 way though. That or N64. SNES way. That's how you're going to play tomorrow. 20 bucks. Unless they allow you to switch it on that game too. Yes. Uh, I'm sure that the Toy Story 3 was like, I can see it now. In like five years, it's going to be something like a year later, and Andy has systematically destroyed the little girl's life to get the toys back. <laughs> you know, like, when you have a successful franchise like that, it's it's hard to not keep making them. Like, it's just going to be a thing until it doesn't do well. When you guys stop going to the movies, they'll stop making the movies. That's, that's really it. Um... So as always, I end my episodes with a random game to give you a little taste of something else. 
Um, I may do something like where I'm having you vote between two games, play the game you all picked, and then close with the one that lost for like 10 minutes. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, let's see. Surprise game. Oh! Do you just play this? No. Oh. What's this? What's this? 22 years ago. Game of, I'm not game on terror. I know. This game's not easy, by any means. This might be a game that I play on a, another uh, classics lounge sometime. Hey Mario, this actually isn't in my like idea list at all, just because it's hard to compete with the people who are incredibly good at this game, and I'm not one of them. Okay. Everyone say goodbye to Andrea. She will be. This is an Ocarina of Time where effing game changers. <laughs> Agreed. Good night. Yahoo! All right. Blah, blah, blah. I enjoy watching speedrunners play this game, mostly for all the glitches that are in it. Because this game is full of glitches. Let's go. Did I get all the red coins? Yikes. Much easier on an N64 controller. Gamepad is not designed for this. Let me get a pro controller. Um, I do have a pro controller and a GameCube controller. Uh, it's just for sake of just quickly transitioning to this right now. Uh, you say I don't have it plugged in. Oh, silly. I'll get that star later. Oh! 
Yeah, this gamepad, I mean, it's, I like the idea behind it and the design, because obviously it ultimately led what the Switch is now, but it's not the most comfortable or ergonomic. So like, when you're familiar with controlling a game a certain way, Been a while. Let me get behind him and lock on. get thrown off the map myself. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice game. I'm a fan of Switch in mobile mode. I'll play it in a half for hours, but if I had the space, I'll set up a Kickstarter and play it and document it. Um, I love playing it mobile. Um, last summer when we went to camp, I sat outside by the bonfire and just sat and played the thing mobile. Um, and then at work, if we don't have a million calls, I'll, I'll play it out in uh, mobile mode as well. Here we go! So, of course, this is Mario 64. One of the most beloved Mario games. Definite, as you mentioned, game changer. Still holds up, and I just love the influence it's had on the Mario series. Even with Mario Odyssey, this game changed the way Mario games were played and kept it innovative. I mean, if you kept running to the right with Mario, I think over time, once nostalgia wore off, you'd be over the franchise. But I think this is where I will ultimately end. Uh, just not comfortable. So, just want to thank everyone for checking out tonight's stream i apologize that if you showed up here looking for robbie wasn't here uh get better soon buddy uh if you enjoyed tonight's make sure to check out tomorrow with a actual episode of dna's classics lounge as we're going to play yoshi's well no we played yoshi's world, world tonight ah, yoshi's island on the super nintendo so we're going to go back to that game and uh, see how far we can get uh, every single Wednesday you can find me here on the Classics Lounge. Every single Tuesday would be normally the Robin Sarah show, uh, the U Pick 2, if you will. Um, every Monday, Lock Steady. He just started playing Uncharted 2, so for the next few weeks, expect that. And for right now, for the next few weeks, expect Eric the Dead on Thursdays. He has been playing Monster Hunter. But we might get a new game out of him this Thursday. Maybe Fortnite. Maybe something. You'll have to tune in to find out. Then, of course, this Friday is our 25th episode of the Weekly Dosage. We are going to be playing Cuphead with Caleb. So check that out. Let us know what you think. But as always, make sure you hit subscribe or follow, depending on the platform you're on. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter as well if you're into the social media. So we also have a Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash dose of nerd acumen. All the links are in the description below. And really just thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Thank you for doing what you do every single week here with us. Um, really until next time, keep gaming. And that's it. <laughs> Take care.